In this video, we are going to explore the idea of, a f of an inverse by doing a simple example. So what I want us to do first is the following. We're going to draw the line y equals to 3x plus 6. Can you still remember how to draw a straight line? Well, you need two things. You need your x-intercept and your y-intercept. So to find the x-intercept, you make y 0. Then you make y equal to 0 and you solve for x. And if you had to do all the maths here, you would end up with x equaling minus 2. So therefore, when y is 0, x is minus 2. So we can go put that on the diagram. So x is minus 2 and y is 0. That's over there. Then to find the y-intercept, we make x 0. So we take our equation and we make x 0. So that'll just be 3 times 0 plus 6. And if you did the maths there, you'd find that y is equal to 6. So when x is 0, then y is 6. And that would be up here. And so x is 0 and y is 6. Then we could draw the, we could connect the dots like that. Now we are going to explore what would happen if we take the inverse. Inverse means opposite. So all you do is you take these two coordinates, so this one over here and this one over here, and you flip them over. So minus 2 0 becomes 0 minus 2 and 0 6 becomes 6 and 0. Then we take these two points and we go plot them on the diagram. So 0 and minus 2 would be here and then 6 and 0 would be over here and then we'll connect those two and so there we have it. But now another very very interesting aspect of this is that these two lines are actually going to be a reflection of each other, not across the x-axis, not across the y-axis, but across the line y equals x. Do you remember that line from previous grades? Well, it's a line that looks like this. And we can clearly see that the original and the inverse are reflected across that point. For example, this point over here has now gone over there, and this point over here has now gone over here. So all that inverses are, are actually reflections across the line y equals 2x. And then the last thing I'd like us to quickly look at in this video is how to determine the equation of an inverse. Very easy, all that you do is a two-step process. Step one is switch the x and y around. Okay, so switch x and y. So that'll mean that x will now equal to 3y plus 6. Notice what I did. I just switched the x and the y. Step 2, get y alone again. So then we just get y alone. So we're going to have 3y on the right-hand side equals to x minus 6. And then we divide by 3. So we have y equals to a third x minus 2. And this is now the equation of the inverse, which is this line over here. So notice what we did in this video. We drew the original function. We then flipped all of its coordinates around so that we could draw the inverse. And then I also showed you how to get the equation of the inverse. And that is just by switching your x and y values around in the equation and then getting y alone. So the key point is you don't need to know the equation of the inverse to be able to draw it. To draw the inverse, you just need the original graph and then you just switch all of its coordinates around.